Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to my guide on obtaining a lumberjack set from Temple Trekking slash Birdrot Ramble. So this is going to be a guide on how to farm out the Undead Lumberjacks event that gives you a chance of getting the lumberjack pieces as fast as possible. It's not a guide on how to do all facets of the Temple Trekking slash Birdrot Ramble minigames. Um, it's really just to try to get a lumberjack set because that's really the only useful thing you can get from uh, these minigames. So in order to play uh, Temple Trekking you need to complete the quest in aid of the Myrkey. In order to play Bird to Rot Ramble, you need to complete the quest Darkness of Hallowvale. Um, you don't necessarily have to do Bird to Rot Ramble, so you don't necessarily have to complete Darkness of Hallowvale, uh, but you do n definitely need to make sure that you have Mauritania Legs 3 or 4, uh, and this is for the un unlimited teleports to Bird to Rot. And if you don't have these, it will be significantly slower, so I wouldn't really bother going for Lumberjack unless you do have them. The, lo the level 3 legs don't really have extremely high requirements, and you don't need to complete Darkness of Hallowvale to have the level 3 legs. Um, so you don't necessarily have to do that, and if you do have these legs, you really don't need to do Bird Rat Ramble, but it's still nice to have. Um, so as far as the inventory gear setups, uh, just copy exactly what I have. You definitely want to take Full Graceful if you have it, because you're going to be running a lot, and I would recommend taking a Dual Ring also, I just forgot to get one out of my bank. Um, it's good to have a weapon, because you are going to be killing some monsters. They only have 10 hit points, so it's not a big deal, but may as well take a Whip, Fury, and uh, Dragon Defender, and then take a Dragon Axe, you do need this. Um, and you can take an SGS if you have it, you can use it to heal because you take a little bit of damage in there, but it's not a big deal. If you don't have it, then just take some uh, pieces of food with you and you'll be fine. You want to take some stamina potions as well because you will run out of run energy, even with Graceful, if you are going at this hard. Um, and as I said, Mortania legs are pretty much essential. If you don't have them, it will be a lot slower. So starting the actual minigame, you want to use either Dalkin Fang or Fiona Frey on the Bird Rot side, and the Adventurer or the Mage on the Paterdomus side if you're doing Bird Rot Ramble. Going either way is exactly the same as far as the events that you can encounter, and there are quite a few different events that you can encounter. Some of them can be evaded if you're doing the easy route, which is what you want to do. The reason you select the higher level followers is because they have higher defense and higher hit points, so they will never die. And you, you want to select the easiest route possible, um, because you have the same chance of getting one of the London Lumberjack events, and you encounter less uh, higher level events, and you can evade every single, or you can evade most of the events uh, that you encounter. So for any event that you can evade it, just evade it and go on to the next one. If you come across events such as the bog or the tree that you have to make a rope to cross or a couple other ones that you cannot evade, all you want to do is use your Mortani legs to teleport back to Birdorot and start another ramble. That's why they are so useful is because otherwise you'll have to do those events or buy uh, Mauritania teleport scrolls which are somewhat expensive and are, are further away teleport to the start point of this. Um, so it's really really useful to have the Mauritania legs, it makes it a lot faster. So. All you're trying to do is get to a specific event, which is the Undead Lumberjacks event. And there are two events that look quite similar. One of them will spawn Undead Lumberjacks, and that's the one without the trees that you can chop. And uh, the, the Lumberjacks will drop planks that you can use to repair the bridge. Sometimes you'll encounter an event that looks almost exactly the same, but you have to chop the trees instead, and it's kind of a uh, false, exciting type experience. Um, so when you do find a Undead Lumberjack event, um, there are five lumberjacks that will spawn out of the water one at a time, and you kill them, and each one will drop bones and a plank, and they also have a chance of dropping a lumberjack piece. So the boots are most common. If you get a pair of lumberjack boots, don't be too excited. Next are the hat and then the legs and then the top. The top is extremely rare and will take way longer to get than any of the other pieces. You will get a ton of duplicates of every single other piece, especially boots, before you get a top. Um, on average it will take around 7-10 to 10 hours to get a full Lumberjack set. It took me only 3, I got fairly lucky. Some people it takes over 20. They're fairly unlucky, so it's all RNG based, uh, what you can expect. But, one thing that you want to keep in mind is that if you do not get a Lumberjack piece from any of the 5 Lumberjacks that spawn, you can wait a minute or so and then they will start spawning again, but to avoid waiting for that minute or so, you can actually hop to a different world, it will restart the event, and the lumberjack will keep spawning. You can only get one lumberjack piece per event, so if you've already gotten a piece, you don't even need to bother killing the rest of the lumberjacks, because you can only get one piece per event. Um, but if you don't get a piece after five lumberjacks, you can hop to another world and keep killing them until you get a piece. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you want to get a placeholder set, if you have all four of the lumberjack pieces, either in your bank or in your inventory, the lumberjacks will not drop another piece of lumberjack unless you drop it all on the floor. So if you have a full Lumberjack set, and you drop all of it on the floor when you get a Lumberjack event, then they will start dropping more Lumberjack pieces, but otherwise they will not drop Lumberjack pieces. So it gets a little bit more annoying if you want to try to get a placeholder set, but the only reason you really need to do that is just if you are a little bit OCD about your bank. So this is the basic process. It will take a fair amount of time on average, um, but it is a nice set to have. 
It is not worth it to get a Lumberjack set if you're just going for 99 woodcutting because it only saves you 325k woodcutting XP for the 2.5% bonus that it gives. And that's only around 3 hours of woodcutting, I guess maybe 3.5, um, which it really isn't worth it unless you can obviously get the set in less than 3.5 hours, which I actually did, but I didn't get it until after I got 99 woodcutting anyways, so it didn't really work out that well, but you know, there's lots more XP to gain in woodcutting. Um, but if you're thinking of going for higher woodcutting, like 50 mil plus, definitely get the set because it is worth it time-wise. Um, it also looks kind of cool, makes you look like a little bit of a pro woodcutter if you wear around your lumberjack while you're woodcutting. Um, but yeah, just a little thing that you can get. It's also sort of completionist type stuff, that's the reason that I did it. Um, so hopefully this guide helps you guys out. Feel free to drop a like if it did, and any more questions or comments in the comment section below. And I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.